All I wanted was to see a movie. History is sometimes made by people who find themselves in unusual situations and then do quite extraordinary things about it. Viola Desmond was exactly that sort of person. From the moment you meet her, from the first second, you see that she's educated and that she takes a lot of pride in herself. Here we have a woman who went into a fairly run-of-the-mill situation for the times and just said, I'm not going to take that, I'm not going to put up with it anymore. And in doing so, she effectively changed history and changed the way Canada and Canadians perceive themselves. She just wanted to see a movie. That's all. So simple, these things sometimes start so simply. To play a role of a woman who, in a moment, she decided what was right, what should be done, and what she saw and what she could do. It's very special for me. It's so important that these minutes bring those moments to light. This conviction is based on a lie. So we have the impression that the story of Viola Desmond isn't very well known among Canadians. It is well known in her home province of Nova Scotia. And we're lucky because the government of Nova Scotia has created an online archive related to the case. And so that gave us a lot of insight into the story. We started the story essentially right when she was going to the movies, but we had to frame it. There's, you know, a lot of disparate pieces to be pulled together. So there was another woman named Carrie Best who was a journalist. I wanted to bring them together in a context that showed both of their strengths. For me, the triumphant moment is where Carrie Best says, after all of this, what are you going to do? She turns to Carrie Best and says, make it right. Everybody here is so invested in the roles that they play in making this come together. It's such a tricky thing to just have a minute to be able to tell an emotive story as well as an expositional one. And action. I had to pick the things that I responded to the most as a writer and, and as a black woman and as a Canadian, and then try to sew all those things together in something that's coherent for people so that they hopefully get as much out of it as I did. being surrounded by the impeccability of the wardrobe research and everything that's gone into understanding and recreating Nova Scotia in the 1940s is pretty remarkable. As we were dressing our cast, we just wanted to make sure that head to toe we looked 1946. As Canadians, we don't necessarily talk about or bring up um, the racism in our past. And it's an important thing to remember uh, so we don't carry it forward. If these heritage minutes can do anything to inspire other Canadians and young people to look back into our history, I'm sure they're gonna find a lot of really neat things. There were gains and there were losses in her story, but in the end, it was a spark a spark that went on to mean so much more than she ever intended in the beginning. And that is something we can celebrate.